Okay. Because, I mean, Erica, coming, coming back to you, I mean, in this whole actuarial space, what other skills should, should we be getting that we're not being taught at, at university? I mean, university is very much focused on passing those actuarial exams. Um, but I remember in my honors year, like the lecturer, like he took an hour of every week to just talk about marketing. We didn't have an actuarial exam on marketing, but he felt it was important that we got a little bit of exposure to how that works. Um, what other skills would you say are important for actuaries to get that aren't traditionally seen as actuarial skills? Well, that's really interesting, Michael. I have to say, unfortunately, we didn't have that kind of professor when I was studying uh, to teach marketing, but that's a really, really interesting one and a really good one. Um, I also found that the institute and faculty, which was the, the body that I studied through, while they attempted to create a well-rounded communication um, subject, I don't think it was as successful as it uh, could have been or should have been to prepare actuaries to speak in public. As you know, many actuarial students um, enter the field for maybe because they're really good at maths, maybe because they've heard salaries in the actuarial field are really good. Um, but none of the things that an actuarial student would necessarily be good at has got anything to do with communicating with others and to build relationships and that is so important in not just in the actuarial field but in any occupation um, that you do um, something else uh, uh, i would say is working in teams yes during the actuarial studies you've got a project every now and then where it's a group project and you need to work together but I think all of us struggle from time to time to work in groups. Um, and working in a group in an organization is also very different to working in a group when you're studying, because now you've got a boss, there's an, a hierarchy, you're getting paid for what you do, and now it isn't so easy anymore to make your voice heard when you disagree with the direction that a specific project is going in. Okay, so, so how would you say that students and people that are early in their career like myself can can prepare for that like how do we how do we develop those skills or what activities should we do that can try broaden our, our horizon Jeez, michael you're asking me some difficult questions here <laughs> <laughs> most importantly for from for me i would say this will take time there is no artificial way to build the skills of being able and willing to speak up um, and being able to work well in a group. It really just comes with time and gritting your teeth when things go really badly. And I think we all from time to time still, and myself as well, still have those days where we feel we don't want to speak to anyone. We just want to sit behind our computer and do our little piece of our jobs. And that is it. And when we have those days, I would say, go for it. Have that kind of day. But then the next day, get over it and go on um, with, um, with what you need to, to get done. Um, one of the things that has worked really well for me in the past is to make sure that I go beyond just the actuarial team and the actuarial department in the, in the companies where I've worked. It's important to build those relationships with IT, with marketing, with your sales guys, with your administrators as well, and whatever other departments there are in your company. Have those conversations, learn about what they do from a day, on a day-to-day -day basis, and make sure that they know that you're there. One of the worst things that actuarial students can do is to sit behind their desks to do what they're told and not to go out hunting and looking for interesting projects. Once um, other people outside your own team and your own manager know that you exist and that you're there and that you've got skills, you are much more likely to be asked to get involved in a project. And that is how you would definitely, A, get to know better how to learn, how to work with people from different environments and also learn the, about the insurance industry on a much wider scale as well. Okay. 